Hey guys, today I'm going to answer a question and every week, I will, every Saturday, I will try to answer a question from the previous Saturday. Uh, and this one I got on Facebook. It was, why do you not write articles for MTG Finance? There's many, many websites, so many websites. And the reason I don't engage with the MTG Finance community, and I really don't consider myself part of it, I do MTG Finance, it's not escapable, but I don't tell you what to buy normally anymore i tell you what has happened this card has spiked this is why it spiked these are traits to look for you make your decision yourself and that's been uh, mostly my opinion there's a few cards i've told you to go out and get but that's been on the rare exception the reason i'm not part of the mtg finance community i really try my hardest to keep out of their reddit i don't comment anywhere i don't read articles i don't collab of anyone outside of the YouTube community uh, is because of this. I had made a video about Elspeth, Sun's champion, at the time she was pre-ordering for $15. If you read other people's articles at the time, you will see that was a way against the grain. People said she was terrible at 15. They said that she would never go up. She would only go down. And mainly because she cost six. At the time, a six man and planeswalker was, you most people didn't feel like you could play it because it was too much for a planeswalker but i had proxied her up and i was playing her in commander i played her in my uh, this was before she was released and i loved it i loved it i absolutely uh, thought it was the greatest card ever and i two cards happened before this which will bring the background i had correctly picked Voice of Resurgence at 12.50, and I ordered four or five different playsets of Voice and Archangel. Both of those cards, uh, Voice especially, tripled in price almost overnight. Archangel went doubled in price, and still a pretty solid card. But nothing compares to Elspeth Sun's Champion because of the what happened was I made a video for a guy named John Medina. At the time, he was the most famous person in MTG Finance. He had 5,000 Twitter followers, and this was three years ago in a very niche MTG Finance mar market. Really nice guy. We talked back and forth. He gave me advice on how to make videos, and he said, hey, you know, I want you to make a speculation video for me, and I will post it to my uh, group or to different Facebook groups. So I got universally killed on this speculation by the MTG Finance community, and they cited all types of reasons. and. Uh, it was very nasty on Twitter and stuff. And you can go back and read articles to what people thought about Elspeth. And I have saved things, and there's things on this channel and on the old channel where, you know, people were very nasty that I picked Elspeth as my, you know, pick. But it was absolutely right. It was 100% right. And at that point, I was like, huh, so all these experts who are being paid by all these websites who are taking um, money from users for paid articles they couldn't get this one right and they argued and argued and argued that this was wrong as a speculation but they probably never played the card when i played the card i realized wow it is worth six if you can get this on turn six or seven or eight it just wins you the game and of course it was helped a little bit by control decks being more and more stronger at the time but i, I just felt the card could not be at the time below $15. Now you might say, oh, it's below 15 now. Yes, it's out of standard. Yes, it's had a reprint in a dual deck. I knew at some time in standard, it'll hit $30, $35, and eventually it hit $40. So that is why I don't write articles. Um, I would never write a paid article. I would never write for a website, for an MTG Finance website. I wouldn't keep this information it just mine at the time i had great respect for people who wrote for those websites and who were paid because no one was paid on youtube at the time we were much smaller and youtube revenue is a joke it's still a joke but we didn't have sponsorships we didn't have uh, boxes we can advertise we didn't have pick or trade we could get points from and we didn't have uh recognition from wizards of coast himself itself so at the end of the day I had the greatest respect for these writers who were being paid and I expected they were being paid very well because you had to pay for a membership on this website and they were wrong about this card. Now I realized, hey, maybe I shouldn't listen to them. I should just pick things 
I like. Falia, Malera. Yes, I've had a ton of misses and I've been very honest about it because it's hard not to be honest about it since the video is always here. Uh, and But Elspeth Sun Champion was my favorite, favorite speculation of all time. And it really showed me that I should think for myself. I should make decisions based on what I like to do and not what an article tells me to buy. Because by the time the article tells you to buy it, 100, 200 people already, already read the article and they're all coming to the conclusion that this card's not worth it or I should buy it, hence spiking the price. And it's almost like you have put the cards, stacked the cards, right? So... Elspeth Sun's Champion is the reason that I'm not, I don't write articles for any MTG Finance websites. I would never write an article for an MTG Finance website. I would always, and it's also the reason that I realized you have to make decisions yourself. You cannot read an article and go out and buy the card because the article tells you. The article is biased in many ways. If it's from a store, the store is trying to sell that card. Maybe they have a lot of that in stock. If it's from a website that you have to pay mo money for a membership of, then it's almost like let's all get in this together and buy this card to raise it up, not because the card itself is good. And that always leaves people holding the bag. Eventually, not everyone can make money from that scenario, and eventually someone will lose money. I also didn't like the concept of having a paid website, um, having articles be hidden unless you paid money. That to me, for MTG Finance especially, does not make sense. And yeah, I also best on Champion, definitely the princess of all princesses. Even I would rank her ahead of Falia and Malera, and those two have done fantastic for me lately. Malera is almost 10 bucks, Falia is almost 10 bucks, and I got them in at one or two, under $1 for Malera, under $2 for Falia. But Elspeth Sun Champion, that was the one that is very near and dear to my heart. And that's the one that, the reason that I don't participate. So the question was, why don't I participate in the MTG Finance community? Why don't I write articles uh, or make videos for any of these bigger websites? And the answer is, I just don't want any part of it. You have to make decisions based on yourself, on what you feel like the card is worth. Anyway, long video. Bye, guys.